Oh, it's so crazy. I had to start this video again, but here we go. Miss Dante, she read my cards. Miss Dante, she read my cards. Miss Dante, she read my cards. Miss Dante, she read them cards. She read them cards. She read them cards. She read them cards. Um, baddies will have liked this video, so Tribe will have put some zeros in the comments. Um, please get your bphantom.com merch. I have some new merch coming out. Um, we are in da uh, not in Dallas. We are in Nashville right now. We just moving too fucking fast. We are in Nashville right now, honey, period. Um, but yes, I was doing the video and I have so much media in my phone that I had to delete some stuff and then come back and continue with the video. But what I was saying was, what I was saying was, right now, you're being looked at for a promotion, honey. You're being looked at for a promotion. I see shit is silent. This is not anything that's in your face. This is not anything that's present to you at the moment. Right now, they were trying to see if you would have passed the test to be a part of whatever this is. But now, they're seeing that the joke's on them because you literally have surpassed this opportunity or whatever this is. May it be romantically, you know, for you to have this. It's like, well, fuck, you know, there's there's not many more hurdles we can make this person go through in order for them to obtain whatever this is. You literally are at your mastery. It's like, you know, you get hired for a new job and they've been thinking about making you an assistant manager and bringing you that offer. And the whole time they've been scoping you out to see if you was going to perform. Whole time you performing like a fucking GM. Whole time you performing like you running the store honey so it's like the way you have the situation bamboozled you know it's like first they was testing you for whatever this is seeing if you was gonna get this and now it's like uh well duh well duh well duh you know well duh well duh and it's crazy because this person this individual whatever they've tried to put this situation off they've tried to not give you this you know, and I don't think it was maybe deliberately, but I think that they were just juggling some other things. So I think that it was just best for them to keep whatever was going on in that moment, you know? But now it's like they're ready to give, engage in whatever the hell this is. They're ready to play with the situation. And honestly, they feel very dominated by you. They feel like not necessarily that you a player, but you know your game, you know? You know how to stroke them the way you know i don't even say that they like but they just like how you do it it's like a certain intention it's a certain way that you do it that makes is making them feel very like possessed and engaged and bamboozled you know um right now they are scared you know they are scared of you because they're scared that you are a player that you have so many options and i'm gonna be honest that's what has kept this person from giving this to you this person has not known whether they could trust you or not because you're they're just that good you're that good they feel like you're gonna have too many holes too many options too many fucking things going on they scared you know literally and that was the reason why initially they walked away from the situation or froze up on their feelings was because they felt like they needed to be um protective of their energy protective of themselves literally but now they're feeling trapped by the situation. They're feeling like they're running out of time with the situation. They're feeling like they need to deal with the situation head on, literally. Um, so, you know, right now they're just kind of waiting to the moment where they feel emotionally um, full within themselves, you know, to come and offer this. Because they're not wanting to come from this angst. Um, energy, this rushed energy. They're wanting to come from a really refreshed energy. They want, they, they, they want, they know you gonna know. They know you gonna know whether they there or not. Literally, period. Um, I see this person is gonna make some different investments in order for them to enhance themselves, in order for them to bring this opportunity about. Um, right now, they're trying as hard as possible to restrain from bringing this promotion to the floor. They're trying very hard. They're literally trying so hard. But I see things are about to take a turn. Literally. Things are about to take a turn. It's like all of a sudden, they're like, no, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to. I have to. It's like they have to do right by you. They have to do right by you. 
I'm gonna choose one more card. What I said, look at that. The last card. The fucking promotion. What I said. You always had it. You was always gonna turn it out. It's like, what the fuck? All these other people were hired as assistant managers and you was the fucking associate that is given GM crazy. It's given Cinderella story, honestly. It's very interesting. Um, wow, I love that. I love that so much. Okay, I'm very excited. Wow, 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 wow. All right, y'all, so now we're going to do the summer 2024 um, little recap. Y'all know that I may do the June readings late, so this is the reason why I'm doing this, because, you know, I don't know what, what I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, right now I'm I'm on I'm I'm more on God's hand right now in my life than I've ever been in my life. Literally, I'm on, I'm hanging on to God like this, like pinky bitch. All right, all signs we're gonna go from um, Gemini all the way through you know Taurus since we are officially in Gemini season. Happy birthday, Gemini! Love you guys so much. Y'all little freaky asses. Yeah, little 69 guys. <laughs> Gemini. Gemini, I see you relaxing this summer. I see you chill this summer. I see you not worried about a thing this summer. I see you entering a new frequency of peace in this summer, you know? A new frequency of peace, a different vibe, more relaxation, more money being spent, drinks being drank, you know, clothing, all that, literally. Um... Next we have Cancer. Cancer, I see you in your shell this summer, but not in a bad way. It's just gonna be like, you're gonna feel so comfortable. You're gonna feel so homey. You're gonna feel so at home. It may not even be that you're gonna be a homebody, but you're just feeling very comfortable with your spiritual energy. You're feeling very confident, comfortable. You're feeling very put together. It may be that finally home stability is okay. So now you're gonna be reflecting that. But I see like a lot of decorations, furniture, moving things around. You're gonna be home. You are home. Yes. Amen. Um, next we have Leo, Leo. Leo, I see you're going to be over a certain situation, a certain exchange this summer between you and somebody else. I see you finally seeing how much the situation bores you, how much the situation just gets on your nerves, you know? You're going to be realizing this summer how much a situation gets on your nerves, like how much this exchange, I don't like it, you know? It may be a good thing or a bad thing, you know? You may want to do something about it or you may want to do something about it, you know? It all depends on the angle where you stand in it. Hear that, hear that. Next we have Virgo. Virgo, I see you reflecting this whole summer emotionally. It's like there's gonna be experiences around you, but I see you in two places at once. Like you're gonna be living whatever's going on, but you're definitely gonna be in your head, replaying a lot of stuff that has went on in these past six months. Things in these past six months have been very reflective. So I see this summer, you're just really gonna be on standby. You know, on standby, just cooling it, just being very reflective. It's like things have been going very fast. So now it's like the time for you to just chill and let the breeze go. It's like I've had enough. All right, next we have Libra. Libra, darling, I see you finally coming up with a financial plan. The financial plan works out, the money works out, you get the money darling um i see you very happy once you get this money I see you very calm quiet nobody got nobody 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 got this worked out and you're not gonna care you're not because you are like a bitch bitch i don't give a fuck about you 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 or you period shots Um, next we have Scorpio. Scorpio, I see you chilling. Finally, because y'all be going crazy and be obsessed over so many things. So I see this summer you just chill. You already know what the truth is. So you, you're not either here nor there this summer. You're going to be very peace of mind. A lot of peace this summer for you. Very peaceful, very calm, very quiet, very stress-free. 
stress free. Sag, Sag, I see you reinventing yourself this summer. I see you literally throwing everything away with a specific situation and you're completely starting over. But I see now you're comfortable and starting over. It's like you're the one that decided to purposely die and start the game over so you can position yourself better because now you know different. Because you already fucked up enough here, so now you can reinvent yourself. Capricorn. Capricorn, I see you having a lot of work, my darling, in this summer. Um, it's going to be very important from now that you hear what the fuck I'm saying. Do not be trying to overwhelm yourself this summer. Don't be trying to be ahead of everything and everybody, bitch. Right now, I need you to take it easy. The way you eat, drink, take care of yourself is so important. And normally... Normally you know that. But I see there may be, you know, some distractions. You know, to make you feel like you need to overwhelm or overwork yourself. Or this may be a way that you escape. This is a way for you to escape. This is the way that you overwhelm yourself at work. And it's because of noise. So it's going to be really important for you to just get away and change your environment. And this is not a definite. It's kind of just, you know, you having a perception now so you can do something about it. You know? Something to clean it up. Aquarius. Aquarius, I see you sad about some romantic situation. Some romantic situation has not gone right. And I see you're going to be thinking about it this summer. You are going to be, you know, in a different community, making new friends, you know, you're definitely going to be forcing yourself to be outside, but you're still going to be dwelling on this romantic situation and the fact that, you know, no matter what, this person was not able to give you what you needed, what you deserved, you know, what is owed to you, you're going to be dwelling on it. But the good thing is that you're going to be moving forward. So, eh, you know, we neither here nor there, literally. If anything, you know, it's good, you know, because it's like you're going to rebound this energy. So literally by the middle of June, this is not even going to be in your emotional conscious. Pisces. Pisces, I see you feeling cheated this summer. I see you not feeling like you're going to be making enough money this summer. I see you going to be feeling like you don't have enough resources to do some of the things that you're wanting to do. It's making you feel like, hold up. Let me check back. Let me take this money back. Let me run this back. It's going to be very important for you to keep an eye on, on your finances, baby. You know, because you don't want to get nothing confused and you don't want to be embarrassed when you show up somewhere to do something and blah, blah, blah. Because I do see that it is how you, it is going to, you know, you're going to feel. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, whenever I do my own sign or whatever, I be I won't be guys from the soldiers. Um, Aries. Aries, I see you pulling a situation off. Um, this summer is going to be very impressive to a lot of people. You're not going to feel much different simply because you've been doing this. But people are going to feel like this is different just because they're receiving your energy different. And the reason that they're receiving your energy different is because you are intentionally using your energy different you know it's just gonna be bended in a different way so motherfuckers gonna be like what bitch we didn't even know you could do that we didn't even know you was here we thought you was dealing with a little bookie head we thought you was distracted we thought you still had an iphone 10 hoe and you gonna be like bye bye huh i told her throw it back about like, don't play with me. It's like everybody didn't know you knew how to twerk. And then all of a sudden, you bust out twerking. And not just any twerk. You was twerking. Twerking down. All right, last but not least, we have Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, I see you shocked. 
how well some finances are going to come about. See, you shocked at how well some upgrade is going to fit in. You're going to be scared. You're going to be like, oh my God, I'm good. I'm okay. Um, there's definitely going to be an increase in finances here for you, my darling, in these next three months. There's definitely going to be some financial gain. You're definitely going to feel this, but at the same time, you're going to be very surprised. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be like, oh my God. And you're feeling it. New shoes, new clothes, new vibe. It's like when you a fast food worker and then all of a sudden you start working at an office. Y'all disclaimer. I always feel a little nervous when I'm doing ratings in a hotel or a and bs because I'm so loud. Yeah, the energy be so I'll be like, can they hear me? Which I'm sure has happened once or twice, but I, I still get startled, you know, because I'm like, oh, I'm like shy. 